But Philip also continues to have ambition, to control Greece. Standing in his way are his two most formidable opponents, the armies of Thebes and Athens. In particular, a unique group of soldiers has a ferocious reputation. The sacred band of Thebes is made up of 150 couples of male lovers who eat together, sleep together, and fight together, never retreating, always fighting to the death. To further challenge Philip, the Thebans and Athenians had been supported with weapons, soldiers, and money from Persia. Considered the world's most powerful nation, the Persian king knows that if Philip completes his conquest of Greece, he has Persia in his sights. Philip's motive is revenge for a generation of Persian meddling in the political affairs of both Greece and Macedon. The Persian rulers would be pleased to see Philip's ambition halted by the troops of Thebes and Athens. The showdown is to occur at a place called Chaeronea in central Greece. Today, a vast sea of cotton fields. A defeat for Philip would mean the end of his conquests. A victory would motivate him to move his army toward Asia. In August 338 BC, the day arrives for the battle at Chaeronea to take place. Alexander is 18. Philip decides it is time for his son to become a Macedonian commander. He places him in charge of the companion cavalry, a force of 2,000 horsemen who always perform a key strategic role in Philip's battles, attacking the enemy from a flank position. It is with the battle at Chaeronea that the historian Diodorus begins his accounts of Alexander's life. The armies deployed at dawn, and the king stationed his son Alexander, young in age, but noted for his valor and swiftness of action, on one wing, placing beside him his most seasoned generals, while he himself, at the head of picked men, exercised the command over the other. Individual units were stationed where the occasion required. On the other side, dividing the line according to nationality, the Athenians assigned one wing to the Thebans and kept command of the others themselves. I am standing on the site of the Battle of Chaeronea. King Philip begins the battle by sending his Macedonian phalanx forward. They smash into the Athenian left wing. Suddenly, the signal for retreat is given. Now, for a massed phalanx of infantry to move backwards, keeping formation, is an almost impossible achievement, only made possible because these are the finest infantry troops in the world. The Athenians and their allies now move forwards and left across the battlefield towards the apparently retreating Macedonians. But the Thebans, the more disciplined troops, stay where they are, which turns out to be a mistake because between the Thebans and the Allies, a gap opens up. And that gap is seen by Alexander. He's waiting with the cavalry. When he sees that gap, he charges forward, smashes through it. He encircles the Thebans and is able to attack the Allies in their flank. At the same time, the Macedonian phalanx now stops and starts to advance. They steamroller through the Athenians cut them down. 2,000 of them surrender. The Thebans are not so lucky. Completely surrounded by Alexander and his cavalry, they are killed almost to a man. Following the bloody battle in August 338 BC, the fields of Chaeronea are filled with carnage. Philip, with the aid of his son, achieves his goal of controlling Greece. <laughs>